Howdy friends, VC music lovers, Wes here, checking in with my vinyl inbox for the month of April 2016. Uh, just got moved into a new house here, still getting settled in, still got a lot of boxes sitting around, so I'm kind of having to make, make do with this one. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing this standing up, so it's going to be a little bit different than normal, but... I uh, just wanted to go ahead and get this update, get to get some vinyl videos going again. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, hope you're having a great week, great weekend. Whenever it is you're watching this, hope you're doing well. Hope you're uh, enjoying some great music. Did pick up one new album on CD this month. Uh, this is the latest album from Santana titled Santana 4, I believe. Back with kind of the original band again. Yeah, just wanted to uh, hear this, give it a chance. Didn't didn't pick it up on vinyl or anything. So I'm not sure what, whether I'm gonna like it or not. Uh, but so far, I've been listening to it. So far, it's pretty good. If you like classic Santana, those first few albums, San, uh, first few Santana albums, this is really good. And it's gonna be right up your alley, and I think you'll like it. So, uh, thumbs up if you like classic Santana stuff. Uh, give this new one a try. It's pretty good. Lots of nice, really long jams and, you know, those Latin Latin rock kind of stuff there. Really good stuff. So next up, I'm going to talk about a stack, a pretty good stack here. 20 records I picked up at Goodwill. Uh, this is uh, the Goodwills in my area are still doing 10 for $2. So I paid $4 for 20 records. Got a pretty much an instant collection of, of uh, the monkeys here. So these are all like super clean, just I couldn't leave them behind. I really don't have any Monkees records, so I thought I'd grab them. And for 20 cents, I know I can sell them for a dollar probably and make money on them. So even if I don't like them. Uh, but the first one here is Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones. Um, that's a classic from the Monkees. Pick that one up. Next one I have is the Birds, the Bees, the Monkees. Uh, that one's from 68. The Monkees Headquarters, uh, 67 on this one. These are all just really nice, clean, clean copies. I'm uh, really happy to find these. A lot of times you find Monkees records and they're just, you know, really well played, well loved, beat up. Here is the self titled from 66. And the Monkey's Greatest Hits uh, from 69 is when this was released. I uh, got a solo album from David Jones here. Uh, just believe it's self-titled 1965 on this one. Uh, here's one you don't see in this condition. I've never seen it this clean at all. It's still in the shrink wrap. Uh, this is the monkey's head. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much a mirror finish and the shrink is still on it. So it's even cleaner than that. I'm sure if you took the shrink off from 68, oh, I can see my lights and I'll give you a tour of the room here on this monkey's cover. <laughs> uh, yeah, big mess. So I won't show any more of that kind of embarrassing. Uh, next thing I have here is instant replay 1969. Uh, here's one I haven't seen before. This is the Monkees, I guess it's called Present. Uh, when is the date on this one? 1969 as well. They really pumped them out fast <laughs> in those, you know, 65 to 70 kind of period, uh, cranking out to a year probably looks like. Uh, so I got that one. And the last thing of the Monkees collection here, another another one still in shrink. This is the Monkees Changes from 1970. So that's the latest, the latest one I have. Really cool sort of pop psyche color cover there. So like that. Uh, so yeah, those those are like I said, 20 cents, no brainer in my opinion. And then 10 other various records. Uh, Again, these are just so clean, I couldn't leave them behind. Here's one I have multiple copies of, but I've never seen one this clean. Uh, this is the Chicago's second album, self-titled Chicago, after they uh, got sued for using Chicago Transit Authority. 
And I believe this does have the poster in it as well. Or was it a booklet? No, it's a poster. Um, yeah, it's just a poster that folds out and has photos of the band, it's like eight by 10 kind of photos of the band. Uh, but this is not an early pressing. This is sort of a mid to late seventies pressing of this. It's uh, on the later orange and red capital label. This is not like a, there was a two I or six I that this was originally on. Uh, but yeah, you just don't see this cover without a lot of ring wear. So even if I put this on the wall, it would be a good, a good one to use for that. Next thing here, uh, Deutsch gramophone here. This is uh, Igor Stravinsky with the London Symphony or Orchestra, Der Vogel, Firebird Suite, and Jus de Cartes. Occasionally pick up Deutsch gramophone ones that look interesting, like the artwork on this one, so I thought I would give it a try for 20 cents. Next thing I got here, a bit of a comedy piece here. This is the Anna Russell album, 2LP set. Uh, super clean copy. I have a couple copies of this album already, I think. Uh, I definitely know I have at least one copy, but this is Jerry uh, Rafferty's City to City. So it's the classic Baker Street song on it. Uh, but just a great album through and through, and Jerry Rafferty's uh, pretty awesome. So it was good to find this, uh, possibly an upgrade copy for 20 cents. Uh, next up, an album from Three Dog Night. This is titled Cyan. The very blue blue cover on it, so I guess that's the that's where the title comes from. Uh, a compilation here of James Bond themes. This is 13 James Bond themes, all the way up to uh, All Time High from Octopussy, 1983. And of course, it has the James Bond theme itself. Um, yeah, really nice collection of James Bond themes and. Uh, really cool to have them all on one album. Even though I have a lot of the, the James Bond soundtrack albums, it's cool to have all the theme songs right there. Some of these theme songs I just love. Uh, Goldfinger, Thunderball, uh, For Your Eyes Only, Live and Let Die, Diamonds Are Forever. Just great stuff. So cool to pick that up for 20 cents again. And here's one I've been looking for an upgrade copy to for a while. Finally found it. Glad I waited on it. Uh, this is Hart's Little Queen. Of course, you got Barracudas on here. And uh, just a classic album from them and an album I really I really do enjoy. And I'm glad to uh, finally have an upgrade of this. This is one, this is another one. You find it a lot, but it's always just beat to hell. Uh, here's a pretty interesting one. This is the soundtrack to Buck Rogers in the 25th century, uh, done by Stu Phillips. Uh, just really, again, really nice condition, still in shrink, couldn't pass it up. Uh, a copy of Chicago 6, and this one is still sealed. Uh, of course, again, another one I have. I have most of the Chicago albums. Uh, but yeah, to find it sealed, sure, why not? 20 cents, I'll grab it. And last but not least of the 20 cent Goodwill finds, we have a, a copy of Elton John's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. And the classic one there, trifold. Okay, so that's the end of the Goodwill Finds. Next up, I want to talk about the Vinyl Me Please Record of the Month. If you watched last month's Vinyl Inbox, you saw a little... Uh, I had a little, a uh, little bit of a, uh, what do you call it? A little bit of a, uh, a clue, a little bit of an Easter egg, uh, in the, on the shelves there. Uh, the Vinyl Me Please album of the month for April was the classic hip hop album by the Fugees. This is their debut album, the score, 1996 on this one. Uh, just a really, really classic, classic album. Just, I remember when this came out and it was just huge. Uh, just hearing these songs were incredible. The whole album through and through is, is great. It's a, it's a favorite album of mine and I, I really do. I'm really glad I got this uh, for the Vinyl Me Please record of the month. Um, and even though this record has been in print and on vinyl for a while now, uh, they did do some special things with it for the Vinyl Me Please edition. Uh, the first thing they did is pressed it on 
uh, two-color vinyl to match the album artwork, so it's got a sort of a gold and black uh, color to the vinyl 2LP set, um, as well as if you have the CD version of the album, there are three bonus tracks on the CD that have never been before available on vinyl, uh, but Vinyl Me Please, when they pressed it, they put the three bonus tracks on a gold 7-inch, so that is also included with the Vinyl Me Please edition. Uh, really cool to have these uh, these bonus tracks. The bonus track Mista Mista is a is a great track, and it's uh, definitely one you want to have. And there's two uh, remixes to Fuji La. I think I prefer the original better, but the the Sly and Robbie mix is pretty good on here. Um, but yeah, really cool. Also comes with a poster poster of the band that's sort of similar to the album artwork so that is really cool and then of course every month they have an art print uh, by an artist uh, about the uh, for the album of the month and this is titled Refugee Border Burning Smoke by Kenyatta AC Hinkle mixed media sort of art piece there really nice uh, so I'll keep that with the album uh, so that's the vinyl me please for April didn't order any extras in April, but in May I have three extras added on to my record of the month this month, so kind of went a little crazy. I wasn't able to get to Record Store Day this year because I was moving. I missed out on the Friends of the Library book sale because I was moving. Uh, the book sale, you know, generally has a lot of vinyl involved as well. So if you're missing out on the book sale videos, uh, my friend Mike here in town did some really cool book sale videos. Uh, I'll leave a link down to his channel in the show notes below. If you want to see some really cool book sale videos, see what he picked up. Uh, really cool stuff. I'm sad I missed out, but it'll happen again in October, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, that's the Vinyl Me Please record of the month. Uh, it's a really cool service. Uh, as I said in my last Vinyl update, vinyl Inbox video, I'm really enjoying the Vinyl Me Please service. Uh, uh, each week they send out an email with a whole list, uh, almost like a blog version of an email that has uh, sound clips and video clips and you know written essays about uh, different artists and stuff that they think are interesting. So it's really cool to be able to have a new way to discover new music and have some some curation going on there, and I really appreciate that. So I've really enjoyed the Vinyl Me Please service. If you want to check it out for yourself, I will leave a referral link down in the show notes below to that as well. Uh, it lets the Vinyl Me Please know that I sent you and it helps me out, so I appreciate if you use that link if you want to check out Vinyl Me Please. Uh, as I said, just go and sign up for their emails. If you're, if you're not interested, then you can unsubscribe. Uh, but it's a, it's a really cool service, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. Okay, got a few more new albums picked up uh, <laughs> in April. Uh, don't know how I did this, uh, you know, being that I was moving for a, a good part of the month. Somehow I still managed to buy some new records. Uh, and the uh, first one I have here is the latest album from Explosions in the Sky. This one's titled The Wilderness just released in April. Uh, this is a really cool 2LP set that's made specially for independent record stores only. Um, go ahead and take this off. First off, it has a really neat slip cover on it. Um, if you aren't familiar with the Explosions in the Sky, they are a uh, an instrumental indie rock kind of band. Uh, and this album is very much a space rock kind of piece. It's it's meant to be listened to as one whole piece. It's it's very spacey. It's it's very good. I was really impressed. I heard a lot of sound clips of this on uh, All Songs Considered, and I just had to have this. So I was glad to pick this up. It has very interesting packaging here. Uh, these they have sort of these flaps that fold out on either side. The artwork here and the whole thing sort of folds out into sort of a um, if you've seen explosions in the sky albums before you can do sort of like a different kind of box here and uh, they always do really interesting things with their packaging um, and they really went all out on this one I would say even the uh, the inside I don't 
I can't really open it enough, but even the inside where the records slide in, it's got artwork in there. Um, the sleeves that the records themselves are in. Um, this is record one. Really cool piece of white vinyl. Uh, the colored vinyl is only for the independent record store special edition. Uh, nice smoky, smoky vinyl here. That's record one. Or actually, I got that wrong. This is record one. The red one is record one. It's, it's translucent red vinyl. Uh, it does include a download code, which is always nice. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know why I didn't notice that. I'm probably not going to be able to pick this up. I get the lights in kind of a funny place. Uh, but side four is etched. So this is a three-sided album, and the side four on the white vinyl is etched uh, with matching artwork to the cover. And then one last piece of goodness in here is a large fold-out poster with the album artwork on it as well. Uh, really neat. Uh, so yeah, Explosions in the Sky, really cool instrumental indie rock band. Uh, this one, The Wilderness, it's not really about the wilderness unless you want to call space the wilderness. It's a, it's a very much a spacey, space rock kind of operatic, not operatic, but a space rock kind of piece, really cool journey, really cool trip, and uh, I'm digging this one quite a bit. So glad to pick that one up. Uh, next one I picked up was kind of a fun buy. I kept getting the song uh, Fancy by Iggy Azalea stuck in my head. I couldn't get it out of my head, so I finally just went ahead and bought the album. This was a, a really cheap buy, uh, under less than 10 bucks to buy this online. Uh, two LP set just on black vinyl. Also has an insert with lyrics on it, so that's nice. Uh, so yeah, Iggy Azalea, the new classic on vinyl. Had to have it. Couldn't get that stupid song out of my head, so uh, now I have it if I want to play it. And uh, another one of the April releases that I absolutely had to have. In fact, I pre-ordered this. I pre-ordered the special edition. I got a t-shirt and a poster and a bunch of stuff. Uh, but this is the latest album from Charles Bradley titled Changes. Uh, of course, got to see him play in, was it either February or March? Uh, but yeah, played here for the first time in his hometown. He was born here in Gainesville, uh, moved away when he was around eight, I believe. Uh, but does still have some family here. Uh, this is his latest album, Changes. Of course, doing the cover of Changes. Uh, but a really great album. I was really happy to have this. This is the deluxe edition. It's a two LP set. Uh, so it has uh, the, uh, the whole album on the first LP. And then the second LP is the album, just the instrumental versions of all the songs. Uh, so the Menha Street Band from Daptone Records, just doing instrumental stuff. They make awesome groovy kind of music, so it's, it's cool just to hear the instrumentals. So either way you want to hear it, you got it here in this deluxe edition. Came with 8x10 as well. So yeah, that's the new one from Charles Bradley. Really liked it, really digging it. Uh, it's a great album, and uh, glad to have picked that one up. And as I said, it was a pre-order for me. I knew I had to have it, so I just went ahead and pre-ordered it directly from Daptone, and that allowed me to get the get this uh, deluxe edition and get a t-shirt and uh, next thing I had is another sort of discovery for me from the uh, All Songs Considered podcast. This is the latest album from Andrew Bird titled Are You Serious? They played the track Capsized a couple times and that's sort of lead lead single off of here and I, I really enjoyed it and dug it. I know a lot of people don't dig his whistling, but it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, this is my first time really listening to an Andrew Bird album, but so far I really like it. I'm really glad I picked this up. And last but not least, I got three albums here from the uh, Humane Society thrift store. When it stopped in there one day after a side job I had in the morning, just was going by, I decided to pull in. Uh, first thing I got here is Van, Van Clyburn Rachmaninoff Concert Number no. 3, Symphony of the Air. Uh, just a really nice clean copy of this. Uh, this is a mono copy on RCA. So decided to grab that. Uh, they were three for a dollar, I think is what they charged there. Uh, so I got three. Uh, another one for the National Geographic collection. This is Songs of the Civil War. 
on the National Geographic Records label. And again, you get a, a booklet inside, just sort of just you know, typical National Geographic with photographs and texts and stuff uh, talking about the, the songs and uh, glad to add that one to the collection. And the last thing I have here is an album. I believe this is the only album ever by this band. This is band or, or this is the debut album uh, by the band Lighthouse, a Canadian band. It was formed by uh, Skip Propoff of of the band The Poppers, uh, another sort of Montreal. I believe they're from Montreal, uh, Canadian band that I really like, uh, sort of late '60s, early '70s rock kind of stuff. So yeah, I thought I'd give that a try. Uh, so those are my finds for April 2016. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you all are doing well. I'll be getting back to more regular videos here now that we're starting to settle into the new house. Have a great weekend, great night, great day, whatever it is, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.